How's it going guys? This is Dave with Joe's Gaming Electronics. I'll be replacing the power board on the Beats Studio 2 wireless headphones. If you think this repair is too difficult, you can always send them in to our repair center to get them repaired by a professional. You can also purchase the necessary parts and tools for the repair linked below. So let's begin. Uh, I'll be using the flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver for this repair which you can also purchase on our website link below. So to begin, the power board is located on the right side of the headphones. So locate your right side of the headphones and kind of fold it to access this uh, ring here. So what you're gonna need to do is pop, pop this ring out, kind of pry it up, just slightly hold that there slowly just pry it up oh just go along those edges here you can use your fingers don't force it too much so you don't want to snap it it's on double-sided adhe adhesive tape under this ring you'll find four screws here you will need to use a Phillips screwdriver go ahead and unscrew those four screws So once you got that unscrewed, this panel should be able to pop up like this. Next step, you'll need your flathead screwdriver and pretty much pry this little tab here that says right or the R on it. So you just pry this up just like this. It's also held on adhesive tape. And once you got that taken off, what you do is just pull this panel up and you just slide this inside panel down. Just like that. And now we have access to the power board. The power board usually is goes bad if it corrodes or something from sweat, if you're wearing your headphones to the gym. That's the most common issue. So you'd want to pry up this board here it's just clipped in just like that you can pop this red wire out just to make it easier so unplug your battery right here unplug the charger port right here next you would want to unplug your LED strip like that and now you want to get to these points here so remove the top layer of glue that's on top I use a flathead screwdriver to remove this little layer of glue and now you will need to unsolder these points here so I'd recommend writing down or taking a picture of how the wires are just so you can solder them back onto the new board. So go ahead and unsolder these wires. Just like that. Grab the old board. And get the new board here. So I have schematics, I'll pull them up right now. Alright, so if you guys forgot how the wires go, here they are. So let's begin with the copper wire here going down towards the red copper. So you find the copper wire. All right, so once you got these wires soldered on, Go ahead and clip this back into the board or this panel here. So the first thing I do is place the ribbon cable back in. Slide that in, clip that in. Attach the charger port wire. And now before we clip in the battery, the way you test if you're soldering was successful or not 
is once you clip the battery in, the lights should, or your headphones should reset. So let's go ahead and do that. So you clip that in, and as you can tell, the headphones are resetting now, which means we got all the wires correct. So now it's powered on. We can go ahead and shut that off. All right, so now you can clip this board in, line it up and just push it. So you wanna put this back, this red wire back in, it just places right here, just like that. So, hinge, the hinge goes on the outside panels, just like this. And you slide the inside panel down. Give it a few tugs, make sure it's a smooth, smooth sail. All right. So make sure no wires are in the way of the screws or you will damage your wire. So go ahead and screw these four screws back in. Now you can put the ring back in. Make sure you line it up with this groove here. It's on adhesive tape, it should hold. And finally, put this tab back on. So I start by sliding in one side and just pushing down the other side. Just clips right away. Make sure the hinge slides perfectly, no problems. And there you have it, that's a power board replacement. Let's power this on again, make sure it powers on. Good to go. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. And thanks again for watching.